Welcome to the tutorial for database synchronization in SAGE ACT 2013. By the end of this video, you will have learned how to set up database synchronization, create a remote database and synchronize changes. Database synchronization must be set up on the machine hosting the SAGE ACT database. If you have user account control enabled, SAGE ACT must be run as an administrator. Right click on the SAGE ACT icon and choose Run as Administrator. To set up database synchronization, go to Tools, Synchronize Database, Synchronization Panel. Firstly, you will need to enable synchronization by clicking Enable Synchronization. Next, we will need to create a sync set. A sync set defines which contacts will be available to the remote user. Click Manage Sync Set. Create New Sync Set. Give the sync set a name. Click Next. Select which users can log in to the remote database. Choose whether to synchronize all available contacts or define a criteria for contact synchronization. Defining a criteria is the same as performing an advanced lookup. If the contacts match the criteria, they will be synchronized to the remote database. Finish creating the sync set. Now we will create the remote database. Choose how many remote copies you want to create. A remote database must be created for each remote user. Give the database a name and a location for the RDB file to be stored. Later on, we will move the RDB file to the remote computer. Select a sync set. Select whether this remote database can synchronize supplemental files. The supplemental files are the files associated with the database, such as templates, layouts and files attached to contacts. You can set a time limit in which the remote user must synchronize. If the limit passes without synchronization, the remote database will not be able to synchronize again and a replacement must be created. Choose the connection details. For most configurations, network inside a firewall is correct. For more information about this, see help. Finish creating the remote database. An RDB file is created in the specified location. Lastly, you must enable synchronization service. Go to Tools, Synchronize Database, Accept Incoming Syncs. The port number must match the one used during remote database creation. This has enabled the synchronization service. This has enabled application synchronization. Sage Act must be open and logged in on the server for synchronization to take place. Premium users can install the Network Sync service, which can synchronize multiple databases even when ACT is closed. For more information about this, see Help. We have now set up synchronization on the host machine. Move the RDB file that was created by this process to the remote PC. The file is often too large to email and may need to be sent via a shared drive or memory stick. Once the RDB file is on the remote machine, double-click it to start the restoration process. Choose the location in which you would like to store the database and complete the restoration process. Once completed, the remote user can log in. To synchronize the database, go to Tools, Synchronize Database, Synchronize Now. Congratulations! You have successfully set up database synchronization.